San Jose is a bustling city that isn't really considered as a top destination when visiting Costa Rica, but is often passed through by travelers who are getting from one point to another, just arriving, or on the way out of the country. We decided to spend a weekend in San Jose to get a taste of the nightlife, visit some historical sites, and experience the magic found within the nooks of the city. Join us on this captivating journey as we uncover the hidden gems and experiences that make a weekend in San Jose, Costa Rica an unforgettable adventure. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are in a city location. We are in San Jose this weekend and I've got a few different things planned and we're here with a special guest. My brother is here somewhere. I'll show more of him later. But tonight we're actually, we have to run downstairs right now um, we're in Urban Escalante, in Barrio Escalante, San Jose, and it's a pretty nice place. We've only got here at like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., so we do need to be do a little exploring tomorrow. But as of right now, we are going to be heading downstairs and meeting up with Pedro from Bar Crawl, Costa Rica. So here's the nightlife that you guys have been waiting for for a long time. I'm super excited to check it out and see what it's like. I think we're going to a couple different bars. Very excited to show that. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to be transferring ourselves over to Costa Rica's first hotel in downtown San Jose, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be like a historical party. And we're also going to be here for the Christmas Festival of Lights. So I'm super excited for this weekend. It's going to be a lot, but we're going to do a lot of exploring and we're going to see everything that we can do within 48, 72 hours here in San Jose. So hope you guys enjoy. and. I will see you guys when we start the bar crawl. Okay guys, so we have met up with Pedro and the group of people that we are with for tonight for the bar crawl. And this is great so far. We're, we've walked a couple blocks from our Airbnb. They came and picked us up right there, so no big problem. We're walking a couple of blocks and we're gonna make our way to four different bars tonight. We're starting in Barrio La California, um, which is great for kind of like more of a local style party and then later on we're gonna go back to Escalante where it's gonna be a little bit more of a ritzy style kind of party so we're gonna see how this goes by the way this is uh, Greg my brother <laughs> so he's gonna be hanging out with this, us this weekend and yeah I'm gonna focus on walking a lot of stuff going on also it's Thursday night and it is bumping out here so pretty exciting oh yeah and a little bit about bar crawl they've been kind of like open since 2019 and they've been getting more and more and more popular and yeah the idea is just to go to different bars and show a bit of nightlife in San Jose and they actually also do tours in La Fortuna if you guys are looking for nightlife in La Fortuna and you go you would get to explore a few different bars for the night and meet new people and this is like the only activity in Costa Rica that is like this so pretty cool me when I ordered it. I'm like, mm, okay, we're gonna see how big it is because it hasn't come yet. I think I'm gonna be surprised. But this place is really cool so far. Really chill vibe and we've already played a few drinking games. So yeah, we're having fun so far. This is great. down and a few shots <laughs> we're off to the next one um, I don't know what it's called I don't really know where we're going yet so we're just kind of going with the flow and seeing what's happening but I think the next few bars are gonna be pretty musicy which I have to be a little bit careful with you know copyright it's not very fun but yeah I'll show you guys everything that we're experiencing just uh, I might not talk too much but we'll see how far we got with that so yeah we're gonna walk this way
bumping out here. We're hopping over to the next stop, the next stop, the third bar. And apparently it's a newer one. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so we are heading to the final bar, back closer to our Airbnb in Barrio Escalante. So now we got to see the comparison between the two neighborhoods and La California is like crazy. There's so many people on the streets. It's a Thursday night. Some of the bars are not too full because there's like a major soccer game happening tonight. So that is kind of like the one reason why we're not seeing too, too many people in the bars. But like the streets are full of people and like there's lineup, like now there's more lineups to other bars happening. But obviously it's getting late for us, so we're going to our last bar in Barrio Escalante and that will be it. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's like. I don't know what to expect, probably more dancing and music. But yeah, it's also really cool that we got to see a mix of different kinds of bars. Like the first one was kind of more just like a pub with like some cool music, just like more like relaxing. I mean with rock <laughs> music. And then the secondary one was more like dance club third one was kind of like an underground dance club which was pretty cool and yeah now we're going to the last one so let's see what it's going to be like all right guys the bar we had planned to go to is closed so we're closing it up here <laughs> this little area is really cute actually it's pretty bumping you can tell it definitely has a different vibe from uh, La California. Definitely a little more toned down in its own way, but it still has like music bumping, there's lights, all this kind of fun stuff. But you can tell it's like a different group of people kind of occupying the places. But yeah, right now we are walking back to our Airbnb and we're still with the group. They're walking us to the front door. So if you guys are coming to do this tour, know that you guys are not alone for getting to the places or getting back you're always with somebody and they even have like a car service if you need it so yeah i've had a really good time it's been fun something different i've been wanting to check out san jose nightlife for the longest time so this was a perfect way to do it like we got a little bit of everything and i'm ready to go to bed and start the adventure for tomorrow so if you guys do want to check out um this night activity um, go and check out barcrawl.cr on Instagram. You can book the trip through Airbnb and TripAdvisor. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. We're alive. That was a long night. Sleeping in an Airbnb in the city is maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Plus we got home pretty late, like the tour finished right at midnight and then we kind of need some time to wind down. So we just hung out and now it's about 11 a.m. We did our checkout for the Urban Escalante and we are going to go and see if we can check out the Harry Potter themed restaurant Mandragora and yeah, see how that's going. We're looking for some mighty breakfast, so hopefully we can find that there and maybe a little magic on the side. And chocolate frogs. And chocolate frogs. There we go. Okay. Walking down the street, gonna go find it. It's like right down here, I think. And this place is actually pretty cool. It, the detail is incredible. They have the basilisk with the chamber door. They have all sorts of wands that, that say which one is Harry's and which one is Hermione's, which one is Ron's and all that fun stuff. And they even have the little 
keys from the very first movie with wings that they had to catch to get through the next door. I'm right now in one of the, the train stalls. They obviously put a table in the center so that you can eat in here. But this is really cool. Like they've even got the pillows with all the symbols of each room, uh, each house. I love this. So we haven't even checked out the menu yet. We've been just kind of exploring the whole place, which is great because it has its own entertainment within itself. You do like a little walking tour of the restaurant and then you can eat and drink. And yeah, they have butter beer. So I'm definitely going to try that today. Oh, this is exciting. I haven't been to something like this ever. And I've wanted to check out this place for a very long time. I think it's been open for just over like a year or so. And yeah, me and Louise have been like, oh my God, we have to go and check it out because we love Harry Potter. Um, yeah, and they've, they seem to be doing it really well. So let's check out how the food's gonna be and the, the drinks. So, but yeah, so far I'm very impressed. <laughs> So the decoration here is pretty epic, as you guys can see. And every once in a while they even have like the Harry Potter music going on. Um, they mix it up with a little bit of regular music as well, because I'm sure anyone who would work here would probably end up going crazy if they just had to listen to Harry Potter music every day, all day. But yeah, and they also have fantastic animals, or fantastic beasts and where to find them, playing on the TV. But yeah, I'm very impressed with this so far, I like this. And I ordered the monster burger, so we're gonna see how that turns out. And Greg got the Minerva burger, like Professor McGonagall, Minerva. So yeah. Oh, and the butter beer. It's pretty tasty. I already covered my mouth like Hermione did when she chugged it, but this is like basically impossible to chug because the whipped cream is just gonna fall on my face. <laughs> but it's really good. It tastes kind of like ice cream, or like a butterscotch ice cream in a way. But yeah. Happy, happy girl. Happy girl I am. <laughs> I'm already impressed. Greg's already saying how good the sauce is. <laughs> I love sauce. It's like a homemade mayonnaise. And these fries, like you can tell they're fresh cut. Excellent. And this burger, he's like, his face is sliding off, but it's a monster with his tongue sticking out. It kind of looks like one of those books that tries to eat Harry kind of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna eat the monster now. You've been selected for Gryffindor. <laughs> so they've even let us try on the little outfits. I feel like I'm officially going to Hogwarts now. <laughs> and they even have the, the selecting hat. So this is super fun. Like honestly, if you guys have chance a chance while you're here in San Jose, this is definitely worth it. Um, the food is amazing. The drinks were pretty good. The experience all overall, probably like for me, is like a 10 out of 10. Like, and coming from someone who lived in Toronto for the longest time, like seeing a theme bar like this, this is pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> okay, so we have finished our time at Hogwarts for the day. <laughs> and now we are in search for a, kind of like a convenience store, a grocery store, because I need to stock up on snacks for, an adventure that I'm going to be doing tonight, which I'll explain to you later, but that will also be a separate video. So I'll link that to this video at some point. And uh, yeah, so we're just walking through Barrio Escalante to find the supermarket and then we're going to be Ubering over to El Gran Hotel, which is like the first hotel in Costa Rica, um, which is like right in the heart of San Jose with all these museums and history, historical cultural buildings around. So. I'm gonna focus on walking, but I'll see you guys when we get to the hotel. Barrio Escalante is a trendy and vibrant neighborhood located in San Jose, Costa Rica. Once a quiet residential area, it has transformed into a bustling gastronomic hub with a lively atmosphere. The area attracts locals and tourists alike who come to enjoy the diverse food options, lively nightlife, and the artsy vibe of this up and coming neighborhood in San Jose.
All right, guys, so we've had a bit of a rest and we're enjoying the hotel so far. We went for a bit of a walk earlier to go and find Greg a SIM card, which was easiest thing ever. Literally just walk into the Claro store and tell them that you need a rechargeable SIM card. And they do it right there on the spot and they actually give you options as to how much you wanna pay and how much data you'll receive and for how many days that will be available for. So super easy. And yeah, now we're gonna go out for dinner and the restaurant seems pretty fancy dancy and I feel like we don't have the right clothing for it, but we're gonna see how that goes. And regardless, we're gonna enjoy the meal. And then after that, I have an outing that I need to go out on outing to go out on and uh that's gonna be a whole separate adventure <laughs> because um yeah that's gonna be way too much so i need to make a separate video for that but um yeah i'll, I'll check in with you guys later i'm all over the place now i feel like i just need to go to bed but <laughs> all right dinner time el gran hotel costa rica is a historic landmark located in the heart of san jose costa rica it is one of the country's most iconic and oldest hotels, originally opened in 1930. The hotel's architecture reflects the greatness of its time, blending classical and colonial styles. The hotel's prime location allows guests easy access to key attractions in San Jose, such as the National Theater, museums, and shopping. El Gran Hotel Costa Rica offers a blend of traditional charm and modern amenities, providing comfortable accommodations dining options showcasing local cuisine, and a glimpse into the country's rich history and culture. Fast forward, we're back into the hotel after the long hike that we went on today. And it was actually a bit of a nightmare getting back into the city because the Festival of Lights is happening tonight. And the roads have been closed basically since last night. They've been progressively closing more. And now the festival is actually happening right now. So in a little bit, we're going to go outside. It's happening right outside our hotel. And we'll go and check it out. We we're also like watching it on TV a little bit and just seeing what the floats are and all that stuff. Basically, at the Festival of Lights, it's like a Christmas parade where they have floats with like different designs that made by like the different companies, the bigger companies of Costa Rica, uh, marching bands. Uh, what's it called? Like actual like orchestra bands with singers and all that kind of fun stuff. And yeah, these costumes are so fun looking. So, oh, and the street is absolutely packed with people. Like people have been pack, uh, camping out since last night with their, they put their little like, picnic blanket out and they just stay there with their family and wait for the parade. So it's a big deal. And uh, I'm happy that I'm going to be able to show you guys a little bit of it. But first we're going to grab some dinner, I think. And uh, yeah, then we'll be going outside and seeing what that's all about. So I will check in with you guys later and uh, yeah. just in time to see like one of the first floats and it's like shooting fire and confetti everywhere and everyone's like screaming. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And now I can hear like drums coming. So I don't think we're gonna get too far, like too close because there's like a huge crowd, but you can kind of see everything with a good view from here, so. This Festival of Lights happens every single year in the downtown core of San Jose and it starts near like La Sabana, which is like the giant park. Um, and I don't know exactly where it ends, but I know it's quite a long route and they shut down like almost all of, like a lot of the main streets here in downtown. And actually, fun fact, they're actually not allowed to sell or serve alcohol <laughs> between these days either, so. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they don't want people getting too drunk and partying it up in the streets when it's supposed to be like a kid's kind of thing, but hey, it's all in good fun.
El Gran Hotel, hotel <laughs> is one of the first ever hotels in Costa Rica and fun fact the president of the United States actually stayed here when he came to visit Costa Rica I'm not sure what year it was but it was John F Kennedy and he stayed here and they actually have presidential suites and everything in this hotel we don't have a chance to go and check them out this time but it's a beautiful hotel it's very luxurious um, it's a little bit uh, on the upper scale of things so if you have a little extra money, it's definitely worth checking it out and staying for at least one night. And we're actually right in the Plaza de Cultura, which they have a lot of historical buildings. They have the National Theater. We actually are about to go to a museum as well, the Museum of Gold. So this is a really great area to check out if you're spending any time in San Jose. And from here, you can do lots of shopping. You can go for a walk and get even more historical building sightseeing and stuff like that. But yeah, I love this little area, it's really cool. Right behind us is the Teatro Nacional, which is where they do lots of live shows. You can actually go in and look around and see what it's like. But you can't go all the way into the actual theater part of it, unless there's an actual show. But they have a cafe in there and they have some cool art in the little lobbies. Also, fun fact, from what I'm aware of, this national theater was actually built on the funding of the exportation of coffee many, many years ago. We are here now at the entrance to the Museum of Gold, pre-Columbian Gold. Um, there's a lot of historic stuff in there, so I'm kind of ex I'm excited to check it out. There's a few different museums in the area, which you can go to, like the Museum of Jade. There's the National Museum, the Children's Museum. So we can only pick one today, and I've decided to do this one because it. I don't know. I think gold is kind of cool, and it's gonna have a lot of like artifacts and some of that. So we're gonna go in and see what they have in terms of information. I love gold. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, we're going to be finishing up our trip here. We have been here and spent about four days in San Jose, broken up, we've done a variety of things. We stayed for one night in Barrio Escalante. We went for an amazing bar crawl night. We went to several different bars. That was such a fun experience. We also saw some cool historical buildings. We got to see the Gold Museum. And we even did a night tour out of San Jose. And we got to stay in Costa Rica's first hotel, which was really cool. It was just such an experience and it's such a luxurious place. For me, that's a nice change to do something like that for once and spend a little money and experience something a little different and stay in the heart of San Jose. I love that. Not to even to mention the Festival of Lights. I mean, that's obviously, you won't be able to do that anytime that you come to San Jose, but it's a fun experience if you are here in December around Christmas time uh, to get to see that. It's been a really full couple of days. So I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing everything that we've been able to do. What do you guys think of this adventure? Let us know down in the comments. And if you guys are looking for something in San Jose, I hope this video can help you. If you are friends with someone who is coming to travel to San Jose or to Costa Rica in general, spending time in San Jose, let them know, let them see this video and uh, so they can start planning their trip a little better. All right, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Costa Rica content and I will see you guys real soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.